When it comes to 3D design, sometimes two is better than one. What am I talking about? Well, stick with me and we'll jump into it and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share with you, uh, in designing larger parts, how to get around some of the challenges that you might face. And with this example, I'm designing a new uh, intake manifold for the eBay K40 laser. As many of you may know, I use a one horsepower uh, funhouse blower to actually do the evacuation for the laser. To do that, I need to be able to integrate the intake of the funhouse blower to a standard four inch dryer vent hose, which connects to the laser. Now to do this, I started out with a solid model. And, and because of some of the uniqueness in the uh, rim area here and how it needs to integrate with the blower uh, for the funhouse, I ran into a lot of challenges as you can see here with supports because this area requires supports and I was really beating my head against the wall even though I used uh, support interfaces things like that just because of the dynamic of this I had a really tough time getting this to come out the way I wanted and actually fit in the way that I needed so what I decided to do is split this into two parts now instead of just splitting this into two parts you know kind of like a half and a half I actually designed it to, to be two parts and I think this is the interesting piece that I want to share so I, I skinnied up the thickness of the retaining ring because this is the retaining ring this is what will actually connect to the blower motor or blower housing this tube on the other hand will connect to my four inch dryer vent to the uh, laser printer now I was able to print both of these uh, sort of as you see here, maybe move these over here a little bit, you can see them a little better, without supports. And so I got, I received a lot cleaner print by printing with no supports. And now here's a little bit of the magic. So I designed these in Fusion 360. You can probably use whatever design program that you want. Fusion 360 worked nice because I could actually see how the parts fit together. And so with that, basically this piece fits inside the retaining ring and it, it, as you can hear it's actually a snap fit and and this provides a tight seal locks it in and then now this just simply snaps on the blower motor works perfect so a lot less headache than printing it as a single part I also think there's a greater resiliency in this part um, because I have the, the retaining ring the, the thickness of the retaining ring and the thickness of the integration tube so I did downscale both of these from the original so the thickness is while it's still a little thicker than the single piece uh, it's still not that thick it's not double thick so it actually has some nice resiliency and in the future if I want to change this I can keep the retaining ring and just replace the integrating tube so kind of some interesting angles at you know coming at 3d design especially for a larger piece like this typically with smaller pieces I have very little problem with support material but one of the things I do find with it, I have big pieces like this with large surface areas, especially since I have to turn up bed heat in that to, you know, uh, you know, ensure that the piece does not warp. I tend to run into some problems with support structures. So again, hopefully you found this little tip interesting and handy. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget, Swag Shop is going to be up in the corner and subscribe is going to be over there if you're not a subscriber. Also, do you have any tips or tricks for printing out large multi-piece parts like this? Hit me up in the comments below. I'd love to learn from you guys. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.